Hey y'all, back with a new video series. That was a really weak clap. I don't know why I do that, but sometimes I do it. That was a really like baby clap. <laughs> uh, new series, all on weight regain. So I'm absolutely fascinated by this topic. Obviously I coach a bunch of people who, dealing, who are dealing with weight loss, weight regain, um, you know, lifestyle, competitors, and even myself, you know, I've weight cycled a lot over my life um, due to, you know, being anorectic growing up and then also just competing. So it's something that really struck a chord with me and actually what I focused on in my grad school research. So in general, I'm pretty sure that either yourself or someone that you know has dieted before only to end up being fatter than they were before right like and obviously that is not anybody's goal like nobody sets out to start a diet to get fatter but it is very real and something that does happen if you don't know how to handle things afterwards from both a nutrition and a training and a lifestyle perspective so there are so many adaptations just with dieting in general that make the weight regain a lot easier um in general i think a lot of people think that weight loss is this really hard thing really losing weight is not the problem um, and we don't really have a weight loss problem in society it's more of a weight regain problem so people can lose weight pretty pretty easily and then they just gain it back or they might gain even more so first reference to the whiteboard which nobody's gonna care but it took me like 20 minutes to figure out where to do this and how to set it up so that you guys could see it and that I could refer to it <laughs> I went to like all these different rooms of my house so appreciate the whiteboard please <laughs> so the first quote one third of weight lost tends to return within the first year and the majority is regained within three to five years. So pretty grim, pretty sad. Uh, this actually is a direct quote from one of my favorite research reviews of all time, uh, written by McLean. It is very, very sciencey, but I'm going to link it up in the description because I think that you guys will really enjoy it if you do like reading science. So. Like I said, this really struck a chord with me, just, you know, being a coach and, you know, being somebody who had dieted a bunch of different times and gone through some struggles. So that's what I really focused my grad school, you know, research on was weight loss and weight regain. So another graphical representation of the whiteboard, and clearly I'm not an artist, don't need to say that, um, but even just writing this was a struggle. So I have really bad handwriting and I'm Horrendous strong. like notice how, how much shorter this person's legs are, which is not accurate representation, but just look at the stomach. I think I did a pretty good job there. That, so here's your starting place, right? Like, you know, you're a little uncomfortable, you might wanna lose weight, and then you get down to your new weight reduced body, you're very happy. And then what happens afterwards is that you're actually bigger than when you started. So I saw this cartoon um, depicted, again, during one of my grad school years, and I was like, man, this, honestly, just to capture his weight regained so perfectly in weight cycling. So you're like, well, I don't want to be here. I'd much rather be here. But then every time you go through this cycle, you just end up getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so here's, here's why. So kind of setting the stage for like, what, why do we regain weight? And now I will say that caveat, of course, there are certain people who need to regain weight. I deal with a lot of competitive athletes. And if you have just competed on a physique stage, you absolutely need to regain weight. You, you can't stay at your new weight, reduced weight. Um, likewise, if you're somebody who has been dealing with an eating disorder, um, you know, whether it's anorexia or purging or anything like that, you need to get to a healthy weight and establish that first. So you might need to gain weight. Um, and then also just uh, weight, weight class athletes. So whether it's, you know, like powerlifting, Olympic lifting, or even something like wrestling, uh, things like that, people need to cut weight. Sometimes they cut weight to like an unhealthy level just to you know, compete, so they need to regain weight. But I'm talking in general, people who wanna lose 10, 20, 30, 50 pounds, and you're losing the same weight over and over again, and you don't know why you keep creeping up over time, even though you are dieting. So when we diet, we elicit these normal adaptations uh, that promote weight regain. So let's just use this as an example. You're 30 pounds overweight, and your starting weight is 180, and your goal is to get to 150, right? But you've comfortably lived at 180. Now, you might be having some side effects, like you might have some high blood sugar, high blood pressure, things like that. You might not feel the best, but you're not, you know, your body isn't just hungry, right? You're, you know, you're pretty status quo. Um, you know, your energy levels are pretty normal. And for all intents and purposes, that's kind of where your metabolism is rocking and rolling. Your hormones are, are there. That is your new settling point because you may have been here for many years, right? And you're like, oh, I want to get to there. I want to look better. I want to feel better. This is better for my health. 
So now your weight reduced to 150. But out of nowhere, your body just doesn't go, oh wow, this is my new settling weight. This, this was so easy. No, it's going, hey, how do we get back to 180 as soon as possible? That's why when people diet, they feel things like fatigue. That's why when they diet, they feel things like hunger. It's your body saying, hey, we feel like we're low on energy. Could you help us out here? <laughs> and this makes sense from an evolutionary perspective because obviously we were designed to store body fat to stave off these periods of hunger. So like if there was a famine, you needed to have body fat on store so that you could use it so otherwise you wouldn't just perish. Nowadays, we don't deal with that anymore. So now, but, but our bodies haven't changed, right? Like our environment has changed, but our bodies haven't changed. So not, our body isn't going, oh, you know what? All these millions of years of evolution and I know that we'd, we're not gonna be hungry later. It doesn't know that. So it's screaming at you, hey, we're at 150. I feel like we should be back up here. What also happens when you diet is that you don't lose fat cells. So a lot of people think that, you know, they diet and, you know, they lose body fat. So, but what happens? So your fat cells actually don't go away, they just shrink. So if you have, let's just say five fat cells here, they're big, fluffy, full, happy. <laughs> You're not happy, but they're happy. And now the weight reduced person has the same five fat cells, but they're just smaller. And the smaller ones are actually more sensitive and they're going to be pushing out more of these adaptations. Like, like fat cells have shrunk, we need to refill them. So that's how you need to think about it, right? Like. And that's why this makes sense, because if you don't understand this, it's very easy to end up, you know, here to here to then here. So, all hope is not lost. This was not to be like a scary video, um, but it was simply just to kind of give a little bit of background on the biology of why this is happening, right? And it really is critical to understand you know, what is happening on a physiological level and how on a lifestyle level can we make sure that we don't have all this excessive weight regain. So in part two of the series, I'm gonna cover the physiological side effects of weight loss. And then in part three, I'm actually gonna cover, you know, now that you have lost weight, how do you not regain it all? And what are some ways to keep the weight loss off? So thank you guys for listening. If you wanna nerd out some more, definitely check out the video in the description below, not the video, sorry, the link in the description below. It is amazing and you will want to get your highlighters out for that. So thank you guys so much. Tune in for next time. And I just keep hitting the table because I'm a mess. <laughs>